Hello and welcome to Cosmonautica, a space trading adventure. Uh, I haven't played this one before. I did record an episode of um, Drift into Eternity, but the recording failed, so I've lost that data. And so I don't have a video for you guys tomorrow morning. So we're going to play this. Um, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do for that game. I don't really want to start over, but uh, maybe it's okay if we uh, continue off where I left off. But, uh, you know, I'll make that call soon enough. All right, so we're going to create a new game, and we got a campaign. Dive deeper into the galactic adventure and save the galaxy once again. Or sandbox. Well, let's dive in. Your ship will travel faster if you assign two skilled pilots. To two shifts each. Interesting. It's loading. Now I'm going to keep an eye on the recording too because the uh, last thing I need is for this one to fail as well. I don't think it was a room issue. I think it was because I changed the graphics options. All right. Ah! Hello. You there. Hello. Consider waking up if you don't mind. Rah! Finally. Think code. Almost a human being again. Welcome back to life. Can you remember anything? Nah. You've enlisted on board only a few days ago. Not sure about your function, though. I'm sad to say you chose a bad time to work here. Karma on board has been weak recently. What happened? People acting weirdly or... Pe or simply dying, for instance. Happened to your predecessor. Poor guy. Huh? A curse? Either that or an avidly accumulated amount of incompetence, which I prefer to believe. And you are? I am. N1L. The on... or the board AI. The board AI. Call me NIL after our last mission failed so badly that even I could feel the misery. The crew was furious. Quite unpleasant. I could only secure engines and cockpit. The rest got wasted. The captain? Last time I saw him, he was being chased down the deck by said crew. Our furious crew. I think he's at a better place now. Once, one way or another. And what about me? You? Well, you choose to celebrate your failed mission on your own with gambling and alcohol. Really? Your mission memory loss is no surprise. You don't think <laughs> you didn't drink. You flooded your brain. Poor Grey Matter. At least you were successful in gambling. You won something. What? A particular metal box. It's locked tight and sealed. No clue as to what it contains. Dang. Don't worry. We just need to finish... Or find someone to open it. Who knows? Maybe there's a rare artifact inside. We? Sure, I declare you new captain of this vessel. I mean, things can only get better for both of us, right? The ship's abandoned and not too bad. There's some money left, and we have the container. Hmm. We should have a better plan. Let me know. Um, thought so. H1X. Oops, sorry. Heh. Well then, don't worry. I'll find, I'll help you, I mean. <clears throat> and try out new things. Can be fun, right, my captain? Word. All right, welcome. Take your time and learn things through the Cosmo Guide. We need to slowly build up the crew in the ship first. I see. Hire us a pilot and install some basic rooms. Right now, choices are limited, as is our money. By the way, you can check your current mission objectives via my nude interface. Good to know. All right, let's try this again. Welcome to Cos Cosmo Guide, your friendly gameplay information system. The guide provides important details when you need them. Use the options menu to reset or deactivate this guide. So, let's begin. The bu buttons on the left switch to different sections of space station, which is the central hub of every planet. And this is your shiny entry ship. Okay. Your progress will be saved whenever you arrive or leave at a station. Traits. What are we looking at here? No data. Hmm. Ah, uh, merchant. Trade economies. 
commodities here, prices vary according to the amount in stock, whether a station imports or exports a good. So imports, exports. Okay. Purchase and maintain and customize your ship. Here, keep in mind that only certain stations have a shipyard. Rooms are central elements. Basic installments are available from the start. Others have to be researched. Install rooms that satisfy your crew's needs and enable them to perform various working tasks. An inexperienced crew requires at least a cabin, a toilet, and a snack bay to feel comfortable on your ship. In the beginning, a cargo room enables you to earn money by trading or taking on simple deliveries. Other than your entry ship, there are other ships classes available, suiting the career of your liking. In short, freighters are sturdy, cruisers are fast, and raiders are fierce. Missions are not promised rewards, but usually also demand a penalty upon failure, so be prepared. For, mis uh, for combat missions, a shooty skill, a weapon room, and an am ammunition are re recommended. Delivery missions require at least one cargo hold installed on your ship. This mission type requires you to have at least one passenger cabin installed. Other than a cargo hold, hacking capabilities help you begin successful in these missions. Job center. Hire your crew here. The higher the level of crew, the higher the cost for hiring and wages. Alright, let's see here. We've got a bunch of level 1s. We need a pilot. Pilot. Your crew consists of up to 8 people or members. Click on a portrait to display the current morale, health, and needs of the like. Rearrange your people into positions the crew bar by dragging their portraits. All right, that's a medic. Uh, a cleaner would be good. A cook. Huh. An overeater. Born in an escape pod. I don't know. Two pilots, maybe? Okay. The solar system has three rings. Our three rims, the middle and the outer, have to be unlocked by research. And galactic map. The map shows every solar system that is accessible to you. Research to unlock new ones. Use the cataport in the inner system rim to travel to research solar systems. Okay. Uh, drugs are illegal. Narcotics. All right, well, we got our two people. I think we need to go to our ship now. There we go. Hall repair. All right, cozy twin cabin. This is more just a place to sleep, want to knit, travel. How much money do we got? I can't see it. Money, money, money. There's money, okay. So. Let's buy this one, and we'll put it really close to the, well, maybe, maybe right there. Yeah. Customize the position of your installments for instance, ammo deposits should be close to weapon rooms. Yeah. Yeah, let's install it. That's weapons. That's ships. That's paint colors. Facilities. Uh, cargo hold will be good. Recreation, weapons, living. Oh, a bathroom would be a good thing. Um, huh. I guess we'll put that there. And we need a food place. Snack bar. Which, can it go there? And stuff. Okay. So we got snacks and stuff. Now we need a cargo hold. Facilities. Cargo hold. And that, I guess, can go just down there. 
Excellent. I am tempted to express my relief. You do well, my new captain. Ah, huh, thanks. So we have a long way to go. I suggest we start optimizing our finances now. I suggest the bulletin board database is assigned an easy delivery mission. Money, good. A local overload. Oh, no, that's overlord. Donates a piece of his art collection as a stage prop for a movie. Some smuggler guy froze in carbonite. The cargo will be transferred directly onto your ship. Deliver it to Hollow Mauve Studios on Swall. The mission is 10,000 credits. Check my node for mission details. Then select our destination on the solar map and let's the journey begin. Okay. Time flow. During long flights, blah, blah, blah. All right, let's see here. Do, 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 do. Swall. All right, each planet can be in different traits. Most of them are to import and export goods. Few traits can affect the range of available missions. Note that travel time will change depending on your current position. Let's travel there. All right, so we got 4.94 days. How's our ship doing? Looks like everything's going all right in there. Let's speed up time. Well, how does it feel? Your first time in space as captain, commanding a mission. It's cool. There's a lot to discover on our ship, so take your time to look around. For now, it's important to learn how to deploy your crew and satisfy their needs. Furthermore, keep an eye out on the condition of your ship and rooms, of course. I'll get back to you once we <laughs> arrive at our destination. Repairing, cleaning, usage. All right, we're getting close. Uh, condition, way forward, engine. When a crew member is on fire, they ignore their needs for a short time and work more efficiently. All right, good to know. Wow, what a heartwarming welcome. You've impressed those Hollow moves, ladies. Jealous? Don't be ridiculous, Captain. Let's focus. 10,000 credits have been added to your account. Time to try our out our sources of profit, other than doing missions, trading, that is. Solar Map provides plenty of useful information. Get familiar with it. You seem smart, Captain. Hence, you should be able to figure out how to trade for profit. Visit the local merchant. Give it a try. All right, let's see here. All right, so they are exporting art and books. Um, we have 24,000. Let's see. They also are exporting wood, which is cheap. So if we buy that much, 10,000, they only have six units. Not enough cargo space, aha. Uh -huh. All right, well, your reward is 10,000. Your objectives have been updated. Okay, cool. Node, NL1 and data environment provides various information about ships and crew. Among useful information on crew members, you can choose to fire or promote them here. If two crew members don't get along, their morale will decrease and with time and they will need to socialize. 
to improve relations. Select a suitable room, a kitchen, TV, or party room, and assign two crew members to socialize in it. I'm on fire. No time to waste. Let's get to work. Alright. Well, let's see here. We're 15 minutes in. I think we're going to call it a video here. Just because I'm super tired. And I can't believe we lost that recording. So, thanks everyone for watching. This is Billy on the Gun Jam C channel. I don't know. Bye-bye.